Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, and this time we're reviewing on The Avengers United They Stand, issue number 3. Now, this one has the Vision becoming a full-time member due to Wonder Man being put into a coma, and for the the series would not show up until the last few episodes. Now, it starts off how, in a flashback, Vision had to take down Wonder Man, where Hank was like, Oh my god! And in the end, after stopping Ultron, and after you know, him taking Wonder Man, this had Vision being reprogrammed, and and the news crew wanting to have an interview with the Avengers, where Vision shows up and tells them that he has the mind of, ultra, of you know, Wonder Man, until one of the guys say, What are you? You're not alive! Nature didn't make you! The law didn't make you! And so he shoots him down, which will most likely get him a prison sentence and pressed for charges. Not really the best move to be an idiot. Now, I'm surprised they did it with an actual gun, because, I guess because this was a comic, this would allow them to do things, and Vision takes them, sucks in the bullets, and stops them. And pretty much he has him taken down, where Hank berates him for putting himself in danger, and Hawkeye congratulates him on a job well done, but... They talk about how Wonder Man had changed from, in his, in his origin story in the main Marvel Universe, he, his company was going down, he was pressed for charges and for being involved with his brother's criminal career. At the same time, would have teamed up with Baron Zemo and became Wonder Man. Now this is based more on the main comics origin and how he ended up defeating Enchantress and Scourge and in the end sacrificed his life and so on, and even join the Avengers. Now, I like how they're basing the designs on their original costumes from the main Marvel comics. So, again, this is a Spider-Man pop comic, I have to get rid of that one. So, it explains that what happened when Hawkeye was a villain, someone had an accident and he had to save this woman, and he even teams up with, and even Wonder Man convinces him to let go of his act of villainy and join the good guys. Where uh, even Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch join, but the team remains strong in that. And he even says that he had a film career, which even though the films were terrible, Falcon loved them, and even Hawkeye loves them as well, saying, Don't take my word for it. We have it on DVD. I'll pay five dollars to anyone who didn't run for, from out of this room screaming. And Tiger explains that you know, that he had to do these films to pay off his brother's connections to the Mafia and pay up what he owed. And Hawkeye seems really down, saying, I never knew that. And pretty much we've got an introducing with the voice actress, Lynor Zan, the voice actress for Rogue, who was voicing Tiger at the time. Now, I'm surprised they put a lot of hope on this. It just shows they were really desperate. And even Vision thinks that he remembers, but only has his memories. And in the end, the team leaves, where Vision just looks in that. And then, after seeing the team enjoying themselves, it shows that he's crying, showing that he does have some human emotion in. Now, the story feels... Mm, okay, but not as great. Because it focuses on trying to say, we remember Wonder Man for who he was, trying to get Vision to remember, and plus, I don't like Hawkeye as much in this series, because he acts more like a crybaby, but I expect him a bit more as a character in the comics, so, thumbs in the middle, so comic with you here, signing out.